what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to be walking a, a friend of mine anastasia a, a top producer a kick-ass realtor in the state of washington with exp realty but i'm going to be walking her through the setup of an engagement ad now this engagement ad this 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 campaign it's going to be very different it's not going to be for real estate for her her day-to-day -day business it, it actually is but it's not Typically what you see here, which is running ads for seller seller leads or, or listings or buyers. In this case, Anastasia is part of, a, of, a, of an affiliate program where she makes a commission to simply refer uh, different courses, different, different programs, different prep exam um, related material for the real estate industry. So for those of you that are looking to get your license, you have to go out there and, and, and prepare for it. You have to go out there and study and, and invest in different courses, which are, which are, which are regulated by the state and, and, and federal, which are required. So there's different affiliate programs. There's different companies out there that, that, that provide these type of testing materials and you can be an affiliate. And, and those of you that are following my channel, they're affiliates with all kinds of different things. You guys know this, right? You can, you can damn near reach out to any main co big company company and and they have some type of, of affiliate program available so in the real estate space anastasia is kicking ass um, in affiliate marketing so what i'm going to be doing is 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 helping her structure a campaign and and really start from the beginning and really lay out my strategy lay out you know what what how, how i would i would push it out as far as steps you know step one engagement step two creating this custom audience step three running conversions and, and getting sales there's 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 steps to it there's strategy behind it, and we're at the we're at the very very beginning, and, and I'm fired up to be helping her. So we're going to be running a promotion, running Facebook ads on on an affiliate offer in the real estate space. So Anastasia, can you share your screen and, and let me let me take you through this? And you guys, the reason why I was so fired up to get on camera with you guys and, and really put this out is because this is the very beginning. When you when when the moment she told me her budget, I'm like, dude, we need to record this because this is worth it. You're going to learn some stuff out of this. And there's strategy. There's strategy, which I, I think a lot of you, you know, um, that are following my channel here will get out of it. When you when you meet when you when you either have that budget yourself or you're running it for for clients, a lot of you guys that are that are subscribed to my channel are, are running ads for clients. You want to, you can't go straight into, you don't want to go straight into conversions. So if you're running conversions, first of all, you're the type of business owner where you're looking to capture leads, make sales or schedule appointments. If you're in any type of business where those are one of, one of those three are your main objectives. I'm in the business of capturing leads or I'm in the business of making sales, right? Or, or, or in the, in the, in the appointment business where, yeah, my business relies on appointments. If it's one of those three, you're running conversion ads. But again, you don't want to start there off the bat, especially if, if you have a decent budget. If you have a decent budget, you want to you want to kind of you want to you want to start with either engagement. You want to start with video views. You want to start. So go ahead and hit the green button, Anastasia. You want to maybe start with brand awareness, with maybe reach. As you hit the green button and you come in here, th these are the main objectives, right? So this is in the very beginning, this, will, this is what would confuse me. And I truly believe this is what confuses everyone. You can have the best ad. You can have the best image, the best freaking design, the best video, the best text. You can have the best landing page. You can have the best copy on that landing page. Meaning when I go there and I read the headline, it's just it's amazing. You can have all that. You could be targeting the right audience. You could be running a, a, a decent budget. But if you don't run the right objective here, none of that shit matters. Like none of that matters. And I truly believe this is where a lot of people get stuck. At least I got stuck here for, for a few years trying to figure out what freaking objective should I start with. So now as I, I, as I advanced and now as I um, increased my knowledge, again, there's steps. There's steps. So in this case, in the beginning of her campaign, we, we're going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to go with engagement. We're going to go with engagement. And the whole objective with this, it's the first ad, the first ad of four, for example, this is going to be the first dollar spent of 500, for example, right? So my thought process and my strategy is to go with engagement and to build a custom audience of all those who engages and engage and, and an engagement is those who click like, those who comment, those who share it. Or those who actually are on are in the newsfeed, they're scrolling, 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 and then they just stop. And, and maybe they just kind of you know play around with your little post and maybe scroll up and down. They're just kind of looking at it, right? That's engagement as well. So those, those, those engagements are going to go into a custom audience, which 
in week two will retarget with conversions. So it's always the beginning. It's always the very, very first, the top of the funnel is what a lot of us call it, where you want to build the audience. You want to just kind of get, get your feet wet, get the, get the audience kind of just knowing who you are and getting them to engage. So you can then separate those people from all those who didn't engage and then just focus on week number two, retargeting and, and, and now maybe going after conversions and trying to, you know, either get that appointment, make that sell or, um, or, or capture that lead. So in this case, Anastasia, let's go with, with post engagement and we'll hit continue. And then over here, because, because you're still, you know, technically a real, a, a realtor, a real estate agent, you're still under the category of, of, of housing. So you want to go ahead and yeah, change out the title there. And here, these three titles are always important. Like they're always, always important. So you want to be as specific as you can with these titles. You know, you named it affiliate ad, which affiliate ad, which affiliate ad, I, go back up real quick. This is, this is like basic, basic, but this is so, so freaking important is really being specific. Which affiliate, which affiliation ad was that? Were you wearing a black shirt? Were you throwing up 40% in the image? Like, which one was that? You know what I mean? So real estate, 40% affiliation ad. Okay, cool. So housing. And then, and then now we'll scroll down and you're good there. You're good there. And go back up real quick to the, to the special ad category. If you guys are in any, click on the housing one. If you guys are in any of these categories, so you're running ads for credit, you're running ads for employment, housing, or social issues, you have to check this box. So if your industry, if your business falls under any of those categories, check the box, because again, you can have so much of this other stuff going for you. Perfect ad, perfect text, perfect targeting. But if you didn't, if you didn't do this part, that whole ad will get rejected. Right, because and then they'll push you back to to coming over here and and and, and filling out this. So make sure you, you check that. In this case, it's housing. So we'll hit next. We're good there. All that's off. We're hit. We're we're going on to the next step now, and we're gonna go. Um, we're name this, and then when when it comes down to the budget, you can yeah, you can go daily budget or you can go lifetime budget. It's the same dollar amount, but it's a, it's just it's just pushing Facebook to do a different strategy again, and it's pretty self explanatory. Either you want the either you're pushing them to spend every penny of this daily budget within the next twenty four hours, or you're giving them flexibility to spend it over a period of time, right? And and I kind of always like to go let them let them spend it over a period of time because every day on Facebook is different as far as the traffic, the engagement, every day different. It fluctuates every day. It's like anything else. So, so to push them is not always what I, is not what I always, you know, want to, want to do. So lifetime, I'll go lifetime and let them just spend it over a period of time. We'll change the date. Yeah. We'll go lifetime hundred. And then um, we'll always set that ad to go live the next day at 6 AM. And then it ends at that same time as well. Um, 6 a.m. So you'll, and in this case, we, 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 yeah, we're going to go out 10 days. Perfect. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m. And then, so just a few minutes ago, we got down to the detailed targeting. Let's make sure that, um, yeah, so, so United States is there, age, that's fine, gender. So the detailed targeting is where we're at a few minutes ago, where my whole thought process was to put in pretty much as many words, not like freaking 100, like maybe we'll put in 10. We'll put in 10, we'll put in 10 top words. And once you put in one word, you can always continue to type or you can hit suggestions. I like to type in one word, which was real estate, and then hit suggestions and let Facebook give me all of their suggestions. You know, so go ahead and yeah, go ahead and click that. But then on the next one, click suggestions to the right, suggestions. And so this right here, I don't know if that would have pulled up the same list. A lot of times it's a different list when you just hit suggestions. And, and then I'll just, you know, pull a bunch of these. So what I was thinking a few minutes ago was normally you don't put a bunch of keywords in like this when you're running conversion ads. Okay. When you're running conversion ads, because now when you're running conversion, that conversion ads, the, the dollar really, the budget really matters as far as the metrics. If I'm running conversion ads, again, I'm trying to get an appointment, capture lead or make a sell. Those are three main, main events, right? Those are three main, main um, actions in any, any business, right? So when it comes to conversions, I need to be able to know how much that's costing. What's the cost per lead? How many leads came in? Um, the, the, the conversion on leads, like I have to know that on, on and, and I have to know which word was responsible for that. So that's when a lot of times those that run conversion ads will simply take these keywords and separate them all. 
and they'll and they'll separate them all. Now, this is a form of separation as well. They're all separate, but no, this is they're all bunched in. That's what the, that's what we're doing here. We're bunching them all in to this one targeting. So again, when you're running conversion ads, you don't do it this way. You create multiple ad sets. You use every single same word, but you create it in a in a in a separate ad set, right? So now when I go run my ads, it's really, look, how many words do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five. Those will be five ad sets. When you run them as ad sets, you're then able to look at them individually and see how much is being spent per word, per ad set. So I can, I can look at real estate, that ad set. Okay, cool. 70 bucks went into that. And that's how many leads. And, and this is how many leads came from that word. Real estate investing, $40 went into that. Here's how many leads came from that word, right? That's when you're running conversions. That's when you're going for leads, appointments, or, or sales. And that's when the words really matter um, for the, for when, it comes to, when it comes to that. In this case, what we're doing, our, my whole thought process on this was let's bunch them all in because our whole objective is to build a custom audience. That's all we're trying to do here. We're going to run engagement to get the engagement going, to create the audience of those who engage and then retarget them in the future with conversion ads. Okay, that's the whole strategy here. So we want to bunch in a good amount there and that's and that's cool, that's that's a good amount. Um, the estimated audience, 110 to 129, I'd beef that up more. Can we hit suggestions and can you can you add a few more? Um, actually, are, no, actually, those are pretty much all the most relevant ones, right? You went with all the most real estate investment trust, real estate investment club, um, throw them in. And so this whole offer, you guys, this whole offer with Anastasia, again, those of you that are into affiliate marketing, keep, keep watching because this, this right here is, is, um, is what really, whether you're in real estate or, or anything else, you can reach out to any major company. You can reach out to Amazon. You can go to Best Buy. You can go, you can go to walmart.com. You can go to so many different big box brands and become an affiliate and simply get a link with your ID number and anyone you share that link with and anyone that purchases with that custom link, you make a commission. And so with Anastasia being a kick-ass real estate agent, she's referring a prep course, a real estate exam prep course to, 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 to the market, right? And, and she's crushing it. So many people are clicking on her link. So many people are, are, are enrolling in the real estate prep exam because they get a huge discount, right? And Anastasia is crushing it. So in this case, she's like, dude, let's take it up a few notches and let's start running some ads. And this is the beginning, you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. Um, we're going to be putting out a, a few more training videos like this, showing you her progress and showing you how she, you know, just does the damn thing and, 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 kills it at what she's doing. So that's cool for now. Languages, that's cool. Let's scroll down. We're going to leave it automatic placement and that's it. Hit next. And then we're on the third and final step. So again, you guys, normally you wouldn't put all those keywords in there like that. Um, but in this case, engagement, trying to build a custom audience, that's what we're going to do. And so in this case, Anastasia, you don't have that post just yet. So what we can do is just select post and we'll just choose some other random post. What we do here, you guys, is the ad is the actual post. So go to your Facebook page real quick, you guys. And if you guys are on Facebook, man, if you guys are on Facebook, I want you to, I want you to smash the, the like um, button on, on Anastasia's page. Follow her on Facebook. In fact, I'm going to link her YouTube channel below as well. Follow her on YouTube. She's putting out a lot of real estate related um, content and, and she's just getting started, man. I'm so proud of her. But this is her Facebook page, um, Best WA Properties, Facebook.com best forward slash best WA properties. But what we do is we'll, we'll post it and hit your profile picture in the top, right? Go, um, the, go down, hit the drop down, not, not that one, the other one to the right, hit the drop down and go to the other view of it to the very, very right, hit the drop down your profile picture, not that one, but, um, no, to the very right. That one. Yeah. So go down yeah, go to that one. So view it as a visitor. So over here, you guys, what we what we would do with any ad, right? Conversions, engagement, whatever, video, video ad, whatever. Post it on your page first, right? Post it on the page first, write out the text, get everything there, let it live on the business page forever. And then come back into the business manager, just like we're doing now. And, and so let's go back to the to the to the final step of the ads manager. So now we're over here. 
we're, we went use existing post, we click on it and then it brings us all the post and we just choose that post. And then you run in your, and, and so now we're, we're going to be running an ad in the background of the post that's on her page. So hit continue. So whenever you do get that post, Anastasia, right, you'll just come back in here, you'll change post. So tomorrow, for example, you'll change post, you'll hit that button, change post, and then you'll be able to, you know, see that new one. Make sense? Good. I'll come in and fix that. What's that? Yeah, I'll come in and fix that. Yeah, perfect. And then add button. So here's what we're going to do, you guys. When it comes to affiliate marketing, again, if you've been following my channel for a while, grab your opt-in page. If you've been following my channel for a while, I, 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 I started in the very beginning of my channel talking about affiliate marketing and, and, and really just fired up about the whole space, right? Because I truly believe whatever business you're building, you should be an affiliate marketer, whatever business you're building, right? Whatever industry you're in, whatever business you're building, there's tons of amazing products in your space that you're probably now referring to people and not making any money. You got to be partnering up. You got to be referring products and services that are relevant to your customer, relevant to your audience um, that you can make a commission on. And, and that's why since, 20, since 2018, a lot of my YouTube uh, content has been around tutorial videos around Kartra because in the beginning, I'm like, shit, I'm going to be needing, I'm going to be, yeah, go to an update post. I'm going to be using landing pages. I'm going to be using email automation. I'm going to be using an online calendar. I'm going to learn this entire online, you know, freaking, um, 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 product and internet website. I'm going to be learning this entire space. Anyways, I might as well talk about it and document it. And then when I learned that Karcher had an affiliate program, I'm like, holy shit, I'm already talking about it. I'm already fired up about it. I'm already using it for my business. I'm already sharing it with other people. If they're going to pay me on it, why not? And so it's like, now I haven't, I haven't stopped. Now I'm freaking all in Kartra because it's like, shit, my monthly check, my affiliate commission monthly check covers damn near most of my expenses. Actually, to tell you the truth, all of my expenses, which I had never told you, Anastasia, my Kartra check alone, God bless Kartra. Thank God for Kartra. My Kartra check alone covers all of my expenses, every single expense, except for my rent. I rely on paying my rent through, through my business, right. Through my, 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 my daytime business, my clients and coaching that yep. I rely on that income to pay for my rent, but all my expenses, man, I'm talking child support. I'm talking about freaking, I'm talking about every monthly recurring payment, my gas, my electricity, my utility bill. I'm talking about everything, everything, my cartridge check pays for it. And that's an affiliate. So, so as I talk about affiliate marketing on the channel, I'm like, dude, you got to partner up with companies that pay you recurrently, that pay you on a, on a recurring basis, that pay you passively, that, 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 that come with a recurring payment, landing pages, your freaking cell phone, your freaking life insurance. Like there's certain things in our, in our life that, that, that are recurring. And in this, in this case, this is a one-time commission that Anastasia is promoting but it's still super relevant to her space. And that's why she's fired up on it, right? So there's so much opportunity, you guys, and, 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 and we're just getting started. So here, Anastasia, you're good, publish it. And this is scheduled to go live tomorrow um, at 6 a.m., but hopefully by then you'll be able to change it out. And even if you don't get that post up or whatever, if you don't get the design or whatever, you can always come in here and change out the calendar, right? So, mm -hmm. so you'll just come back in and, and change out the calendar. So this right here, I don't know why this gets stuck a lot, but um, it's okay. Open up a new tab. And, and you guys, if this happens to you, if this happens to you, you come to the third and final step of that ad, no matter what you're setting up, video views, engagement, conversion ad, whatever. If that happens and you get stuck, open up a new tab, come back to the ads manager, hit the blue button in the top right, and then publish. And that will push it through. And then just close out the other tab, close out the other tab. And then that's it. So here's what we did. That was step one. That was step one, running, set, setting up an engagement ad. And again, the whole strategy behind it is to create a custom audience. So here's what we want to do. Hit the three lines in the top left and let's go to audiences. And if we don't have an audience set up already, which I, which we might, but we might not, um, this is what we'll do. And this is a one-time thing. So we won't really have to do this when it, when it comes to an engagement um, um, custom audience, this is this is a one-time setup of the audience. Um, 
but on videos, you'll always want to read, you always want to do a new custom audience on a video for sure. Like if it's a new video, yeah, go set up a new custom audience. If it's a different website that you're taking people to, okay, cool. Go set up a custom audience. You have to do that every time. But in this case, it's, it's going to be one time. Um, and, and this audience will start tracking everyone who engages with any, with any ad, with any ad on, on, on the page. Um, so here hit the blue button. Yeah. You don't have it. You don't have it set up. So hit the blue button and then custom audience. And what we want to do is we want to go Facebook page. We want to go Facebook page. So we're going to go Facebook page next. And then here we're going to hit the drop down. Everyone who engaged with your page. No people who currently liked or follow your page. No, we want to go with people who engaged with an, with an ad. So it's that, that up people who engaged with any post or ad. Okay. That's what we want. And then audience name, just go to name it. Um, this is going to be very general name it. Um, Name it engagement post ads, engagement, engagement post ads. Yeah. Engagement post ads. Perfect. And then, um, the 365, let's change that out real quick. Let's change out the 365 and let's go with, um, let's go with 90. Let's go with 90, especially because the affiliate offer that you're promoting they're they, they cookie people for 90 days. And do you know what that means? Yes. What's that? Can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. Uh, yes, I do know what that means. Okay, yeah. cool, perfect. So you're, that person's tracked. For those of you that don't, don't you know the whole cookie tracking thing or whatever, it's, it just means that if someone clicks on your affiliate link, Amazon, I think, Amazon with Amazon, if you're an affiliate with Amazon, someone clicks on your link, right? They click on your link, they go to Amazon, they're, they're, they, they landed, they're cookied for, for 30 days. They're cookied for 30 days. If that person actually, no, I, I think it's not even 30 days. I think it's actually like 14 days. Yeah, it's super low. But but if that person were to add something to their cart, let's say, for example, I click on your affiliate link. I go to Amazon. I'm searching around. I freaking add something to my cart, but I don't check out. That person is still cookie to you for 90 days. So if, as long as they check out within the next 90 days, you're going to still make a commission on that order right? With Amazon affiliate program. In this case, with what, Anna, with what Anastasia is promoting, that person clicks on her link, they land on her on, on that page, they're cookied for 90 days. So in this case, let's just go 90 days. That's perfect. So create audience and that's it. So now you have the, the ad set to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. and you have the custom audience um, set to, to start, to start building. And that custom audience will be an audit. Yeah. Hit done. That custom audience will be a, would, would, would be a good custom audience to always retarget, to always retarget. Um, you always want to retarget. And, and as you go into ad number two, ad number three, and you're now running conversion ads, for example, you're retargeting, you're retargeting, putting some of these audiences back into the retargeting. So that's one audience you'll retarget. You'll always want to retarget your video views, your video views. Um, you know, whatever audience you're setting up, those who watch it for 15 seconds, those that watch it for, for, for half, half of it or whatever. Um, and then you'll always want to retarget your page visitors um, when it comes to the audiences. And then watch, click out real quick. Let's go back to your audiences. Leads, any, any audience where there's a lead, Real Estate Express leads, Seller Guide leads, right? So with this campaign, we're working on the Real Estate Express leads that's the campaign. So as, as people start to opt in now, people most likely won't opt in on this first ad. It's an, it's an engagement ad. It's not designed to get people to opt in or buy your shit or schedule an appointment. It's not designed. It's engagement, right? That's why in the very beginning of the video, I'm talking about like, dude, this first part, choosing the right objective is the most important because whatever you choose is what you're going to get. Um, so as you move forward and as you start to do future ads, conversions, for example, you'll always want to exclude Real Estate Express leads, okay? Because as people start to opt in, it's really as they start to opt in. So if I ran the next ad and then I finally get some, some opt-ins, okay, cool. So on the third ad and on, I'll start excluding Real Estate Express leads. I'll retarget everybody else, but I'll start excluding that audience, right? So that's pretty much that, Anastasia. Any, any questions on, on that whatsoever? Nope, I'm not, I got it. Cool. Awesome, you guys. So thank you for watching, you guys. There's links in the description. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Over now.